Welcome back to Agriculture Engineering. We now have the general overview of the field of uh, aquaculture and the uh, engineering applications that, uh, well, the engineering interventions that we can uh, input as ABEs. We are still in the uh, first week of the lecture. Uh, the, this course is not aquaculture per se, as we will uh, be discussing the applications of engineering in aquaculture. Uh, the student is thus left to look further into the field of agriculture uh, as a field of fisheries with additional readings to be provided uh, in the class. Uh, this current lecture is uh, the general overview, provide a direction in the self-study of aquaculture. Uh, let us proceed with the uh, principles of aquaculture. The main idea of aquaculture is to control the growth of a species or multiple species of aquatic plants and animals so they can be sold in bulk and for a profit. Thus, the first principle of aquaculture should be that a culture species must be acceptable as food to the general public and profitable to the grower or aquaculturist. Second, the uh, culture species must meet some or all of the following criteria indicated. The species would, should grow rapid, rapidly, uh, its life cycle is completely understood and thus controllable, the uh, species should be tolerable to environmental conditions to include those different from its uh, natural habitat. Uh, also, it should be able to tolerate overstocking, uh, which is the case with uh, intensive cultures. Uh, the species is often uh, best to be in the lower strata of the uh, food chain. Uh, primary consumers are preferred, therefore. The last is that it should be available for uh, food stock. Well, for the continuation or the perpetuation of the uh, species. We have here listed in table one, the common aquaculture species grown by Filipino farmers. We have the more staple bangus, okay, tilapia, shrimps and prawns, and seaweeds. Uh, there are also minor commodities such as mud crab, mussels, carp, grouper and snapper, catfish and mudfish, seganid, uh, lobster and oyster. More recently, there is the gurami, and the rapidly growing culture of fungaceous species uh, used for uh, fish fillet. The scientific names have been provided. Some have a variety of species available for use as noted by the uh, notation SPT. Key considerations in food Nutrition and growth are the ecological classifications of fishes. If you recall, the herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. And here we have some parasites that can coexist with the culture. Uh, the feeding type of the culture species can fall into five major types, predators, grazers, strainers, suckers, and parasites. Among the common species uh, we have listed, groupers and deep sea fishes are predators. Sharks and barracudas, though not cultured, are also predators. We have uh, catfish as grazers. Whales and herrings are strainers. They filter planktons and supply concentrate. Some carps are suckers. And eels and lampreys are parasites. 
uh, depending on the species, nutrition requirements have uh, or require the uh, metabolism rate dependent on the uh, ambient water and temperature. It also requires balanced diet uh, containing carbohydrates, protein, and fat, similar to most uh, biological organisms. And it also, they also require vitamins and minerals necessary for the growth and development. Now, the growth depends on uh, three factors, the genetics, the season, and the temperature, and the uh, biotic or the density-dependent factors. We have here the schematic of the development of an aquaculture farm or setup. Uh, it should first and foremost begin with the species and target production of said species. Then the requirements for the targeted production should be laid out. Uh, once the requirements are set, the site location should be surveyed, after which engineering design should commence. Important in the design uh, should be the provision for uh, the improvements of defective factors identified during the site survey. Uh, then economic considerations for the site uh, acquisition and development should be outlined prior the actual site acquisition and construction. If land is uh, previously owned, thus uh, limiting the production or species, uh, the actual site should be looped to the first step in the diagram to factor in the uh, limiting factor of uh, the, the, the land or the site. It is important to go through the impacts of an aquaculture setup. Uh, first, there is uh, loss of habitat, particularly those that are sensitive to changes such as mangroves and mudflats uh, in the coastal areas. Uh, there's also water quality deterioration that leads to a reduction in the carrying capacity of the ecosystem. Uh, wastes uh, enter the aquatic environment easily by virtue of natural uh, processes. Uh, <clears throat> such as uh, water exchange, causing the effluent to be distributed in the pool area. Uh, wastes are also released with effluent discharge, the removal of sludge at the bottom of the water body, such as in a pond. Uh, direct wastes from pens and cages and an eaten animal feed that settle at the bottom with the excreta and decompose. Uh, loss of agricultural land happens because land is reclassified as a pond. Uh, if ponds are not made to specifications or if the design fails in rare cases, salt water, well, if salt water is used, salt water may percolate into uh, the groundwater or in the, the aquifer. Uh, there is also loss of groundwater, which is often tapped for water requirements in a man-made uh, pond. Uh, this setup should therefore be uh, limited supply for um, uh, should, should, should therefore limit the supply in the area and may become a point of conflict for other uh, with other consumers uh, such as the agricultural and uh, well commercial sectors in the area also the use of antibiotics has already led to drug resistance of disease causing uh, bacterial strains. Fortunately, there are no fish kills have been recorded as of uh, recent history in the Philippines. This is something to watch out for because the uh, epidemiologic tendency is to all, always create uh, stronger antibiotics. In humans, they refer to coamaxiclav as a fourth genera generation antibiotic with the penicillin um, generic 
as the first generation. I am not certain of the exact figures, but the potency of uh, Coam is so much more than penicillin. And it is to counter the ever uh, growing resistance of uh, bacterial strains. The introduction of a foreign species, okay. Um, in, in aquaculture, may also become a problem if the species tends to become very invasive. Um, genetically, the species uh, may be a new breed that can introduce genes in the local population that may damage the gene pool and ecology of the local species. Um, another factor that a species can, can, can do is they may compete uh, with the local stock, such as introduction of catfish and silver carp. Lastly, species can further become pests, uh, such as the case of golden coal with rice. Although the golden coal is not an agriculture um, species, but just to show you the, uh, um, just to highlight the example. Uh, in relation to the uh, practice of aquaculture and the impacts listed as shown are the uh, management considerations towards an environment-friendly aquaculture. Okay, we start with the suitable species, species or species and the seed, but for aquatic plants. And then we have farm siting in relation to environmental conditions. And then also we have the farm construction and design features. And then farming systems and their management. Okay, we have the appropriate feeds and feed additives. And then the healthy management practices, uh, water sediment and effluent management. And lastly, the codes for all of this. Okay, the codes on best practices for all of these uh, different uh, considerations. So all this cons uh, should consider the environment uh, in, in establishing a, uh, an, an environment-friendly aquaculture. So in the next lecture, we'll uh, be going through the significance and importance of, or importance of aquaculture. Uh, as an industry. And then later, uh, further in the next uh, lecture after that, we're going through the uh, survey of the industry in the Philippines. I will see you then.